Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077. Alright, I'm still here at the pier after taking down the Cyber Psycho. So we gotta find something else to do for this episode. Let's maybe just have a look at the map and let's see what we got in the vicinity. What exactly was this all about? The hunt. Meet with River Ward in the evening. Right, that's the police guy, is it not? I think I actually got a quest for that in my journal. Yes, I do. He called me at some point. Um, maybe let's read the description again to <laughs> remind me what this was all about. NCPD boy in blue gives you a holler and you come running like an obedient dog. This ain't gonna become a habit, is it? Well, whatever. Sounds like he's got an errand for you. Real personal kind. Least it's better than chasing dead politicians. Just do me a favor. Don't get used to it. <laughs> well, I guess Johnny doesn't like the idea of, you know, working for this guy. And it doesn't really tell me what this was all about. I don't think he really specified what this was about. Just that, you know, he needed my help or something. So, I guess we just have to find out. And yeah, I do see like a fast travel spot over there. So maybe we can use that. Also, since all the quests in this game are named after songs, I wonder if this one is named after the song by New Model Army. I don't know. It seems almost like too obscure a song. And it's a pretty generic title, so I'm sure there's more than one song with that name. But if it is, um, props to whoever named that quest, because um, that's an awesome song. Uh, well, there isn't really any good <laughs> fast travel spot around. I don't know. Let's pick this one, maybe. So I guess it will take a minute or two. I'll bring you back once I have arrived. Right, it should be somewhere around here. Now I am supposed to meet him in the evening, which I guess it is. It's kinda hard to tell because you can't actually see the sky here. Okay, so I am supposed to wait for him. Sure, let's go and do that. Alright. Well, this is a very random spot, but sure, let's wait. Well, this is the place. Tick, 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 tick. And some time later. As a matter of fact, judging from the light over here, it seems that I waited until the evening of the next day, but okay. So, get in River's car. Oh, I see. He's over here. Yeah, I remember this car. Let's get in. Hey, V. How you holding up? Been better. I know. Probably not hard to tell. So what's the issue? Nice ride. Well, not really, but sure. Let's start with a bit of small talk. Nice ride. Brand new? Nope. <laughs> Not in a chatty mood, I see. Not really. Sorry. Alright, no small talk. Let's get straight uh, to the point. What is the issue? So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Mm -hmm. And that someone is me, of course. First, people? take a look. Okay, uh, what is it? Ooh. Hello. My name is Arif Iqbal, and this is WNS News. Today's story. A routine roadside inspection led the NCPD to the trail of a dangerous abductor and murderer. The incident occurred at the intersection of 7th and 15th Avenue. The following police footage was captured at the scene. Okay, so this seems to be something 1038, different. I repeat, at 1038. This is not about registration the Registration 288 We're exiting our vehicle now. Copy that. Out of the car! Hands up! Easy, officer. Relax. Shut your mouth! Oh, shit. Uh, 
We have a 1053 and a 1054. Oh, I repeat, a 1053 and a 1054. A 1053 and a 1054. Okay, and then they shot the guy. The boy from the footage is Lavar Martinez, age 17. His parents reported his disappearance over a month ago. Unfortunately, Lavar's life could not be saved. His body could not withstand the severe septic shock he suffered. Hmm. Autopsy reports reveal the teenager was given dangerously high levels of hormones, anabolic steroids, and stimulants. Okay. The possessions and genetic material of seven other missing teens were also found in the car, belonging to one Anthony Harris. Unfortunately, their fates remain unknown. Although the criminal widely known as Peter Pan survived the gunshot, <sighs> he has not regained consciousness, making interrogation impossible. Please stay tuned to WNS News for developments in the story. Peter Pan. So, is this like one of your cases? This Peter Pan, he an old case you were looking for him? Never heard of him. Didn't cross my desk. Okay. Um, but it looks like they already caught the guy, so what's the problem? What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy. Disappeared not long past. I see. And what you just saw. The kid was wearing Randy's shoes. Right. Oh, Jesus. Haven't been assigned to the search. The disappearance, tell me more. Yeah, tell me more about it. Randy's disappearance. Know anything else? My sister and I don't get along that well. Uh, I don't know much. Just wish I could have been there for her when she needed it most. But you have not been assigned to the search, huh? What, they figured you'd get emotional and kept you off the case? More like a restraining order. Huh? Won't let me anywhere near it. Gonagal took the lead on it. Lazy ass gonk. Okay. And so far, he ain't accomplished shit. I see. Wouldn't let it go if I were you. They're not completely wrong. They're probably not, but I can also understand uh, where he's coming from. No way I'd let this lie. I know. And that's why I'm asking for your help. So what do we need to do? Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but... We can view his dreams. We can view Sorry, his dreams? dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain on the way. Okay, um... I'm interested. That seems It's an experimental wild. procedure, but it's already yielding results. Okay. They record dreams that can be played back as BDs. Right. And you have access to these dreams. Got access to these dreams? Not yet. But they keep them in the lab we're headed to now. Oh, I see. Night City Police Department. I guess that's where we're going. Also, um... You're kind of jaywalking. Just for your interest. And again, I guess, uh... We're not looking at... The traffic or anything, we're just going to cross a road. <laughs> okay. Got an appointment? Not exactly. We'll go in together, but, uh... Not through the main entrance. Why? Oh, we're gonna break the law. Oh, of course. <laughs> we'll find a different way in, and then hustle out quick. Never actually been here, so I'll need your help. But, I mean, this is like a police station, right? Can't you just, you know, show your badge and say, I'm a police officer? Please show me these files. Well, I guess he's not on the case, but, you know, he still could pull some weight here, I'm sure. But I guess we're doing this uh, the illegal way, so sure, let's do it. <laughs> Find a way inside the lab. So yeah, I don't know, maybe this is named after the New Model Army song after all, because that song is also about, like, self-justice, vigilante justice about hunting down some guy and beating him up for unspecified crimes. I guess this is slightly different because they have um, the perpetrator, but you know, he's still like taking things into his own hand because he feels that he can't trust the due process. And yeah, I can't open the door. I'm still working towards like 20 points tech ability because it seems that nowadays almost every door has like a level 20 lock for tech or strength ability and I can't open them. I wonder if these requirements uh, level up with your own level, because, like I said, it seems that 
the requirements are getting higher and higher. And if that is the case, you probably should start to specialize very early, because if you distribute your points to um, different um, categories and different skills, you will never actually uh, reach like these 20 points early enough to keep up with the um, growing requirements. But either way, um, it looks like we may have another way inside, so let's check this out. Yeah, I can probably just climb over this here. The question is, can he? Well, he's still standing there, but let's see if he can find his own way inside here. <gasps> Great. Oh, what um, now? We find our entrance. They have an audit today. I feel that he Should teleported. Ghost town. No need to be quiet. How'd you know about the audit? I did my homework. Okay, so this should be easy from now on. Um, I can probably just climb up here. And there's a very convenient open window. <laughs> nice. Know where they're keeping the BD? Likely the room where they edit the autistic kids' dreams. The autistic Should be kids labeled as Anthony dreams. Harris. Use Kiroshi to find the right cabinet. Okay, um, I guess I'll look around a bit. What do we got here? Confidential audit day one. A list of tasks to check. A few of these rooms we probably don't have to bother with. Oh, I'm going to bother with all of them though. I mean, if I'm already breaking and entering, I may as well use the opportunity to look around a little bit. So, just let me check out all of this. For example, what is that? Container, material, plastic and metal. Function. This device simulates conditions in the uterus. Intended use maintains the life of the BB and detects BTS. What in the world? Well, this is all kinds of creepy. Uh, okay, um, but probably not what we're looking for, huh? Okay, we have more stuff over here. Um of any BDs. Well, I have some documents here. HR documents. Maybe not what I'm looking for, huh? <laughs> okay, clearly not. <laughs> but we also have a computer. Let me take a look at that. Alright. Bunch of messages. Um, I guess I'm going to check them out. Security update from Noemi Redweed to research team. Important. They definitely don't store any BDs in this area. Okay, well, you go ahead and look at all of that stuff. I'm going to read these messages. I would like to remind everyone of the upcoming audit and changes in security. <laughs> I'm willing to answer any immediate questions you might have. As you're aware, we've had complaints from the NCPD. I know, I know. But we will have to follow the new guidelines. Yeah, I think you should probably improve your security. You know, it doesn't help having a 20-level uh, lock and then a very accessible courtyard with an open window. <laughs> There's no wiggle room on this. At a time TB TBD later, you will all get your oh, new double verification oh. access signatures. You will each receive individual emails with the relevant details. No more of that reply all funny business. <laughs> Until then, continue your work as normal, of course, excluding the day we have assigned for the audit. Have a nice day, security. <laughs> it's kind of ironic that um, they're having an audit on security, and because of that audit, we can just easily look around here. But either way, this doesn't seem to be relevant for our current case. Brain dance case. What are you talking about? Let me just read this stuff. I'm, I'm with you in a second. <laughs> A small step for science, a giant leap for humankind. Good morning, all. I would like to congratulate our very own Dr. Yawen Packard on the recent strides she has made in the field of pediatric autism therapy. Her invaluable work has paved the way 
for more effective therapy applications than the established behavioral methods, whatever all of that is, clearly surpassing all supportive methods, e.g. sensory integration, and substantially building upon traditional approaches such as music therapy. I speak for all of us when I say we are extremely proud of Dr. Packard's scientific achievements, but also, more importantly, proud to see the huge inflow of warm letters from happy parents. Keep up the great work, everyone. Eugene Kuzma. Okay, so they're also doing some autism research around here, apparently. So this lab is not just for the NCPD, I guess, because why would the police do autism research? Project decisions for next quarter. Important. The following projects have been green-lighted to continue next quarter. New transmitters and selective countermeasures in combating the effects of stress, cyberpsychosis, audiovisual stimulation in autism therapy, limited environmental stimulation as treatment for antisocial behavior. Well, that's all pretty interesting. <laughs> We have decided to suspend research into transcendental meditation. <laughs> All those involved on the project will soon receive a more detailed report about the indefinite suspension and information regarding new project allocations. Yeah, um, that sounds kind of weird. Um, and more important stuff for all staff to read. From Sai Swaringen to research team. Dear team, I like to beat around the bush as much as the next guy, but I'm afraid I don't have that luxury this time. First off, you all remember that framed quote I used to have in my office. Never trust a person who's never tried to steal. <laughs> well, it seems someone took that sentiment too much to heart. Now, don't panic, it wasn't the quote that was stolen. <laughs> It's safely at home. Rather, it appears a staff member has taken our new transmitter research files from the facility, which were the likely intent of selling them to a third party. As such, all lab employees will be required to take a polygraph before leaving the facility, led by our own Dr. L. Tolliver. If L. finds anything troubling from your test, the next cause of action would be termination, legal action or both. No jokes, I mean this in all seriousness. Let me emphasize, do the polygraph before leaving work, then you're free to get in your naps, showers, lap dances or whatever is you people do in your off hours. Have a pleasant day, sigh. Uh, from what I understand, polygraph tests aren't really very reliable though. Then again, maybe they have improved it in the year 2077. But yeah, clearly they have some problems with security around here. This week's audit from Anna Swart Festing, City Auditor, to NCPD Labs. Dear all, as many of you know, this week's audit is simply a formality. We are required by law to periodically evaluate current laboratory safeguards for effectiveness in future modernization efforts. Remember that this audit is as beneficial for the city's bookkeeping as it is to keep you and your research safe. We're all playing for the same team here. Please just treat this as a mandatory day off. Best regards, Anna Swart Festing. Okay, um, all interesting but not helpful. What about the files we got here? Subject HAH report filed to NCBT. Could this be our guy? Wasn't his name like Anthony Harris? Patient transported to hospital 18 minutes after suffering missile wound to the head. Okay, this is about our guy. As the missile penetrated multiple brain layers, a temporary pulse cavity immediately followed. Due to rapid intervention, Intracranial pressure was reduced and inflammatory damage to brain tissue was avoided. Despite successful intervention, the patient remains in a coma with estimated chances of awaking at only 0.6%. Okay, so he's not going to wake up anymore. In the event the patient does awake, likely complications may include paresis in the right side of the body, vision impairment, speech impairment and cognitive disorders. Estimated value for NCPD investigation near zero. Okay, so we will not be getting anything out of this guy ever, most likely. So we have to look at his dreams. 
A novel phobia, fear of the number 91. <laughs> okay. In recent years, the list of commonly feared numbers, such as 4, 13 and 66, Okay, I can understand these numbers. I mean, 13 is an unlucky number in most Western cultures. 4 is an unlucky number in lots of like East Asian cultures. And 66, well, I guess like 666 is like the, the number of the beast or whatever. So I can see why these would be here. But what about 91? Has grown to now officially include the number 91. While the phobias of other numbers have origins well studied by science, e.g. tetrophobia derives from the fact that the Chinese words for death and for sound similar, yep, that's the form, we can still only hypothesize about the rise of 91. Patients afflicted by a phobia of the number 91 often complain of recurring nightmares in which a giant countdown reaches 91, then suddenly stops. When they attempt to restart the countdown, it transforms into a bright yellow board with vermin crawling all over it. This is oddly specific. This shared experience has already spawned unproven conspiracy theories, among other things, claim that the dreams are transmitted via either electromagnetic waves, the digitized minds of a mysterious netrunner sect, rogue artificial intelligent intelligences, or classified nanochips installed by Night Corp agents. None of these outlandish ideas contain a grain of truth, of course, so what is it that causes the phobia to manifest such intense reactions? That much remains unknown, but as so many scientists often claim, the truth is out there. <laughs> I mean, the guy who very famously claimed that wasn't really a scientist and more of what you would call a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> so without full knowledge of the phobia's origin and its underlying factors, how can you treat it? Studies thus far have shown promising results for conditioning patients via induced dream states in which the number 91 is inverted to the number 19. Although this method remains in clinical trials, experts optimistic the 91% success rate <laughs> will only continue to improve. <laughs> well, that is uh, very uh, convenient that the success rate is the same number. Hmm. And I mean, I wish I could ask Gary the Prophet about this. He probably has something to say about uh, this as well. But okay, that's all I can do here. Um, some interesting information, but not what we are looking for, I guess. Also, what is all of this? Methoxim plus EEG? Yeah, I don't know what any of that is. Let's keep looking around. Okay, can't open this door. Got another cabinet, audit records, dossier, Anthony Harris, probability of being found close to zero. Okay. It's not where we need to go. Um, but let me check out these other rooms as well. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Ah, we got another computer. Guess I'll check this out too. Um... Okay, some of these messages are the same, but this one is different. Meditation work heard the news from Ale Yoti Kotchama to Carolyn Adams. I just saw the email. I'm sorry to hear they cut your project. If it's any consolation, I've tried to apply your methods in my personal time and I feel like my creativity is on a whole other level, seriously. I really hope this is just temporary and they reinstate the project, though I've got a bad feeling since Dr. Lynch's departure there just hasn't been the same support. Hang in there, Carolyn, don't lose hope. Okay, that's about the cancelled project and all of this is the same. And this is again about the number 91. Don't need that. What about this? Teachings of the temple. Um, this doesn't seem relevant at the moment. Alright. Let's keep going. Oh, another creepy room. 
And another computer. And I have not seen this before. From Carolyn Adams to Taryn Doggett. LOL, and just remember not to mention our latest study to those NCPD slug brains because they, well, they just wouldn't understand it anyway. Okay, now I'm interested in that study. I mean, maybe it's just about the meditation again, but still. <laughs> and again, all of this is what we've already seen. And I'm not seeing anything else in this room. I guess River has already like moved on to a completely different area. Well, I'm sure I'm going to catch up with him soon. Okay, this is just bathroom. And another one. Okay, um, this just looks like a way outside. Uh, but I can look at this place. Outer space, my life in orbit. Take that with me. There's so many rooms in this place. Okay, some stuff I can look at. Um, okay, all of that is old. But I haven't seen this before. Melissa Rory, latest research. From Terran Doggett to Noemi Redweed and Jean-Paul Petit. Based on the latest research on the subject, it appears the patient suffers from re relapses of antisocial behaviors. The recommended treatment approach is limited environmental stimulation and increased doses of neuroleptics, see treatment details and attachment. I remind you this is not an isolated case but a fairly common problem among members of MaxTech. The NCPD is pushing for more resources put into cyberpsychosis research, but our facility simply can't accommodate an uptick right now. And a friendly reminder, please email your applications for overtime next quarter by no later than tomorrow EOD. I mean, some of these mails are very interesting, although they don't seem to relate to our current situation. Okay, this is old. Um, we got the number 91 again, but this one I haven't seen. Brain dense conditioning in cyberpsychosis. Studies that use brain imaging methodologies have shown a progressive reduction in brain volume, but a swelling of the ventricular system and the volume of the cerebrospinal fluid produced in people who suffered from cyberpsychosis. <laughs> I wonder if any of that makes any actual sense to someone who understands this stuff. Other studies have found differences in the degree of cortical nerve cell depletion between stage 1 cyberpsychosis patients treated pharmaceutically and those who received brain dance conditioning. Increased loss of cortical nerve cells was detected in those using pharmaceutical treatment from which it has been concluded that brain dance conditioning has a neuroprotective effect. This experiment results should be taken into account when implementing brain dance conditioning methods in locations with minimal environmental stimulation present. It's interesting though that they use like brain dances uh, as like a therapy. Seems interesting either way. What do we got here? Tablet owner Noemi Redweed search how to prepare for an audit. Well, uh, I wish you good luck with your audit. But maybe you should audit a little bit more because, yeah, your security here is not great. Okay, more stuff to look at. I mean, just look at all these computers. I can turn them on without having to enter any kind of password. That is terrible security, right? Okay, all of this is old. This one is new. Audit round the corner from Seth Givens, NCPD, to Sai Swearingen. What's up, Chumster? You know about the audit in your lab is coming up, right? Maybe get those invoices or woo all squared away, huh? And the reply 
Don't you get enough of your own paperwork to push around? Leave the invoices for Wu to me. I'll make sure our little piggies don't go hungry. <laughs> and again, this is old. And... I guess this is the same that I've just read, right? As a matter of fact, this might be different. For pediatric autism. Yeah, this is not about cyberpsychosis, this is about autism. Okay. Activity in a developing brain is higher compared to that in a mature brain. This greater capacity to establish neural connections and reorganize cortical and subcortical brain structures allows for substantial compensating abilities, even in circumstances of extensive brain damage. Unfortunately, in the case of children on the autism spectrum, the problem is one of hyperactivity. An overabundance of firing synapses result in synaptic communication disorders. This study compared children on the autistic spectrum who did not receive any preventative measures with those who received early brain dance therapy. Initial findings suggest the brain dance treatment provides beneficial support for synaptic function. Please refer to subsequent reports for detailed summaries of the finding. Again, pretty interesting, but um, not useful to me at the moment. But what do we got here? Okay, she's not impressed. Office supplies, filing cabinet, invoices and bills, trails of spilled whiskey. And again, 0% chance to find what I'm looking for here, apparently. What about this over here? Audit, data verification, over time, voluntary versus mandatory. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to take whatever that is. And yep, yeah, that's all here. Okay, he's over here, but let me make sure I have checked out the other rooms as well. Well, will you look at that? Yet another computer. Okay, I've seen this, I've seen this. This one is new. Geez, from Jean Paul Petit to Yolanda Castaneda. You read Kuzma's email congratulating Yawin. Eugene must have been very um, pleased with her strides. <laughs> what are you implying? I'm not surprised. I mean, she cozies up with that cop, then all of a sudden gets an NCPD contract. What a coinc dick. Huh? <laughs> exactly. Well, this is just office gossip. Certainly not helpful to me. And again, this is old. And this is number 91 again. Um, anything else in here? Nope. Well, with some money, I'll take it. And this is not actually a door. Um, I guess I've seen this already. But okay, it looks like I checked all the rooms except the one where he's currently at. So, let's see what he's looking at here. Okay, um, I need to find a cabinet, right? So, let's look around. I think we have one over here. Just some science articles. <laughs> okay, not what I'm looking for, evidently. Imperil poisoning. Is this something I should look at? Imperil, which attracts danger, is a poison resulting from irritability. This poison, a quite substantial one, is deposited against the walls of the nerve channels and then spreads through the entire organism. Okay, doesn't seem relevant. Got some stuff I can take. And another computer. <laughs> okay, I've seen this, I've seen this. Um, I've seen this. And this, and this, and this. Okay, this is all old. Brain dance conditioning and cyberpsychosis. I've seen this, I've seen this. Okay. Um, Nothing new on this one. 
So we are starting to run out of options here. Okay, but we do have like some doors on this side apparently. Okay, this one I can't open. Oh, what the hell? This is a very loud room, like visually loud. <laughs> BD chair, brain dance chair designed to provide users with maximum convenience. And another cabinet. Medical records, I think I found it. Okay, it's in this room of all places. Okay. Hey, River! Think I got it! Found something? Not yet. Anthony Harris, let's try these drawers. State River, why not just have a janitor crack a door for you? <laughs> Can't risk getting scolded for sniffing around somebody else's River. case. Yowen! Oh dear. What are you doing here? You got kicked off the force! Oh, Just suspended, oh, <laughs> actually. <laughs> um, you could have told me about that. What did she mean by that? He hasn't told you? Nope. Yowen, please, listen to me. Are you in enough trouble already? Harris kidnapped my nephew. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But we store evidence here. And we have strict protocols. So why are you not at the audit? <laughs> protocols? Talking about his nephew's life here. A child's life. This is an ongoing police investigation. Go, please. Um, um, yeah, we need those dreams. Get out now! Can't leave without Peter Pan's dreams. I'll say it one last time. Out! Damn it, Yawan. Who the fuck do you think you are? Remember your first med school exam? You know the one. Passed it with flying colors. Gotta remember it. Ladies' room erupted in flame. They evacuated everybody for two hours. Hmm. I cannot believe you would throw oh. that in my face. <laughs> I it's never wish to her. see you here again. Especially you. This man, he only takes. He never gives anything back. Well, I would know. Barely know, River. We just work together. Do not believe any promise he makes. Good tip, thanks. <laughs> but we're wasting time. Harris is dream beady. Where is it? He isn't dreaming. Okay. What? Why? Well, that's a problem. I thought you already had bullet damaged his cerebral cortex. We get only dissonant urges. Pieces. Um, can I maybe see this for myself? I'd like to try audiovisual stimulation. <laughs> but he isn't on the spectrum. A favorite song or movie helps you reach the kids. Might be worth a try. I am aware of the similarity. Hypothalamus stimulation and hormone production. But Harris is not a child. I have never tried the procedure on an adult. I mean, can it really hurt him anymore? He's already in a coma. So any specific reason? Any reason you haven't? Because unlike River, I went to med school and studied neuroscience. And not by reading about it over someone's shoulder on the metro. <laughs> but why not just try it? Like I said, I don't think you can make it any more worse for him. Let's try it. We don't even know his preferences. I'll find something. I mean you're willing to try. Just go. Hmm? I'll open the front door for you. Let's ride, V. Okay. I know exactly where to start. Oh, I can talk to her about the relic. Sure, let's do it. Say, by the way, what do you know about biochips? Arasaka's relic in particular. Well, it's designed to store a person's neural engram. Uh, sorry. Just imagine copying <laughs> over a person's memories and personality. Right, I get that. I'm more curious what happens if the stored engram overwrites the engrams of the chip carrier. Overwrites? I... I'm not even sure that's possible. It's Why do you is. ask? Nah, never mind. Not a big deal. Thanks. Yeah, I guess she can't really help me. She doesn't know... Uh enough about this certainly not more than I do at this point 
Anyway, um, I guess we will return to the car now and then discuss our next steps. <laughs> I'm not sure if this was really a success because all we found out is that he's not in fact dreaming at all. Also, didn't she say she's going to open the door for us? <laughs> So, why do I have to sneak out at the back again? Let's just use the door that she told she would open. I'm guessing she means this door, right? This is the exit. Yep. Cops seem to like you. <laughs> Could be this one sniffing around for something extra. River's alright, not your business, Johnny. Yeah, why do you care? Stay out of it, Johnny. Ooh. Think someone actually <laughs> wants to polish Mr. Policeman's badge. You know, moments like these, I truly mourn the fact I can't fucking sock you one. <laughs> Fine, not gonna pry. Truth is, you could have done worse than Detective Blue Moon Ward. Okay. I already have. I've got a brain parasite nibbling away at my nerve endings <laughs> as we speak. I don't know, Johnny. Maybe you're just projecting. Maybe you want to polish Mr. Policeman's badge or something. <laughs> anyway, I guess uh, I will return and uh, talk to River about what just happened. But maybe we will do this in the next episode. It seems that this quest might take a little bit longer than I expected. So um, let's make a cut here and we will uh, see what we can do about this situation in the next episode. So as always, thank you for watching. And see you again next time.